Uh, this particular part of our program, we are highlighting the special awards that are presented by the International Science and Engineering Fair through what we call ICEF. And the corporation Regeneron is sponsoring the ICEF now and their company has been very much involved with helping with the pandemic. So it's kind of neat that all of that is coming together for us. So we will continue on with special awards and at the end we will have our grand awards. I'd like to thank our sponsors. Framatown here in Lynchburg is our grand sponsor and they are sponsoring the category awards and also the grand awards. And the grand award, there's $500 scholarship for the grands and the alternates are $150. We're very thankful for that. Uh, the Greif Corporation in Amherst County and Lidos is a research company in Northern Virginia and their uh, contribution helped pay for the way cool research t-shirts that all the participants will be getting. We also have our school divisions who work with us, Amher Co Amherst County Public Schools, Bedford County Public Schools, Campbell County Public Schools, and Lynchburg City. So we're very um, thankful that they are involved with us. They have steering committee members who are part of our team. Our judges, our judges took a leap with us and they've been with us uh, since last Wednesday. They reviewed folders Thursday and Friday. They conferred together and then they came up with their questions and they spent almost the full day on Saturday interviewing students. Some of the judges came back with us and served on the panel for the quick rounds. And the quick rounds were really important because it helped us determine some of the special awards and also our grand and grand alternate awards. So we're very pleased that we had our local uh, colleges and professional organizations. And this year in particular, we had the Virginia Dental Association president who was involved with us. And we had one alum, uh, shout out to Mary Seals, class of 2009. She's an, a materials engineer and she was very helpful in working with that. If there are any CBGS alums around, we are gonna contact you to help us with any virtual work that we have to do for judging. So thank you so much. Let's give them a hand. Next slide, please. We also owe a debt of gratitude to the virtual host. Central Virginia Governor School, faculty and senior ambassadors, you're awesome. You um, help make, make it happen. Each step of the way, we kept our students um, in the forefront, but having the students involved in this last segment of making Mission Control and Broadway come together has been pretty amazing. Um, and we also wanna give a shout out to the research and tech support of the regional science teachers who were helping the students. And we also had one student who was participating um, in her home country of China and we also had another student who was working on her project in India. And the Regional Science Fair Committee is uh, quite awesome. And so we're looking forward to everything we've learned from this fair because we have a middle school virtual fair coming up in May. So families, if you're um, listening, you will find out more about that and we will, and that is going to launch on March 15th. So let's move on. So our first award, is in Meteorologic, Meteorological Society, and it is the significant, excuse me, a certificate of achievement goes to Julie Fitzgerald. So American Meteorological Society, Julie Fitzgerald. Let's give Julie a hand. The next specialty award is the American Psychological Association and all research students know it as APA. So uh, Sarah Blair, you are now the APA winner for this year. Congratulations. The Society of Civil Engineers has a local group 
and they had two judges who looked at all the projects and two of the winners received some cash award. And something tells me that researchers like cash awards. So the first place award goes to Ina, Ina Lynch and she receives a hundred dollar cash award. And the second place goes to Austin Wright and he receives a $75 award. So let's give them a hand. The next award should be the ASM Materials Education Foundation. This particular group um, supports a lot of summer research projects for students. I think they're doing it all virtually, of course, but they have a research park up in Cleveland, Ohio. And it just so happens that Mary Seals, who was one of our judges, um, was involved in some of those um, events. So the winner is William Gregory. And it's the best um, engineering project using materials. The next one is the American Association for Women and Geoscientists. Um, this one goes to Ella Lewis. Congratulations, Ella. And it's for innovation of, and scientific excellence in geoscientists and also about public awareness. So her project caught the eye of the judges for this recognition. The next award is a math award, Mu Alpha Theta. So it means that the student was able to demonstrate originality and thought and creativity in problem solving using mathematics. And this goes to Ella Wesolowski. The NASA, NASA Earth Systems Science Projects Award. This one goes to Maggie Zhang, and it is for understanding the insight into the Earth's interconnected spheres. And the judges felt that she was able to do that, looking at the evidence that she was collecting about um, her birds in the biosphere and how they were um, living within the atmosphere. So congratulations, Maggie. The next awards are the National Association of Biology Teachers. Um, for those of you who are listening who are biology teachers and you, you are members of the association, um, please join me as a member of recognizing VB Tros and Pablo Alanis for um, their work. And this goes to the best biological projects. And um, in working with some of the uh, professors who are involved in NABT, uh, we take pride in the fact that we look at some of the projects and where they might go. And I believe there is one of our graduates who is um, online right now watching this, who received this award many years ago. And she is currently uh, working in plant biology now. Uh, the next award is going to be with um, uh, Noah. And Noah Award is for, as it says, taking Pulse of the Planet Award. And they felt that Jeffrey Wooters, Wooters was well deserving of this award. It's to understand and predict changes in climate, weather, oceans, and coast, and to share knowledge of others and how to maintain our ecosystems. And so his project dealing with um, oil. oil was definitely applicable to this. Now, I'd like to say that for students, um, some of these awards are very targeted toward the, the category, but the the particular organizations um, at the state and national levels are wanting to encourage young people to continue in their field of research because there are jobs out there for them. Okay, next award. The RICO Americas Corporation Environmental Award. 
And this particular ward has, was one of the first ones that really started to get the students looking at uh, sustainable development. And as you can see on the certificate, it's the seventh anniversary of doing, 17th anniversary of doing this particular award. And this year we felt mm -hmm. that Ina Lynch was um, worthy of this award. So congratulations, Ina. The Stockholm Prize Award has a long history and tradition to help students understand more about the water on an um, international level. Um, the Stockholm um, Project Award goes back to the lakes that are in Sweden. Very neat place to go. Um, I urge you to go. And if there are students who win this award, they get to go to Stockholm. They're actually there during the Nobel Prize winning. Um, and it's a, quite an interesting event. So our three nominees, and they have some work to do, they have to um, actually um, upload their projects. There's a state level and also the, the national level. Um, goes to Jeffrey Wooters, Eden Hunter, and Ina. Ina Lynch. Congratulations. We would love to have a Stockholm Junior Water Prize winner. We've gone to the state, but we haven't gotten up to the, going up to uh, Stockholm and we'd sure love to do that. So best of luck. Our next award is the U.S. Metric Award. And the U.S. Metric Award, as it says, is somebody's using a lot of data they're being very careful with all that data. And Bethany, your project was recognized by the judges, by more than one person looking at your projects. So congratulations. The next one is the US Aid Award. That one's fairly new. It's a certificate. Um, but it's a science champion award to recognize exceptional individual project that has potential for making an impact on addressing international development challenges. And Jade, your project, we felt met that category. So congratulations. The Virginia Lakes and Watersheds as the um, information says, um, goes along with how projects are looking at making our Virginia lakes and watershed cleaner or new projects, new approaches. And Jeffrey Wooters, you are definitely on the way to being a water biologist or environmental science. Either way, you're, you're definitely on your way. So congratulations. And now we're to the Dental Society. So the Dental Society Awards um, have been a tradition at the fairs because the dentists as a profession feel that it's very important to recognize what young people are doing as far as research. And it's these particular awards are highlighting a particular aspect of a project that the judges felt needed the recognition and encourage you to go on and be that kind of research thinker. It was very much a distinct pleasure to have Dr. Brenda Young with our team this year. She was able to be part of it and she was over the moon as far as how the students were doing and what they did. She was extremely impressed. And so we were very um, honored to have her. And so the four recognition certificates for the Virginia Dental Society, Elliot, Isaiah, Prentice, and Maggie. So congratulations. And the grand award and this has money with it, $100 goes to Leanne Ranger. 
So Leanne, you had the best project and Dr. Young was definitely involved in selecting you. So we're, congratulations. On the physical science side, we have the Yale Engineering and Science um, Association. And this one, this award goes to Landon Epperson. And Landon, this award has been around for extremely long time. It was one of the first ICEF awards. Um, this one is the best project awarded in the areas of science, engineering, and mathematics. And it's for 11th grade student. So Landon, congratulations. And some of these awards have paperwork with them, and this is one. And so Ms. Braun, who's with us, she's our registrar. She will be getting information to you. And for all these special awards, you have to do it in a timely way. In many cases, it can be uploaded, which is really nice now, because we have some of your paperwork. In other cases, you have to fill out a particular form in order for them to give you either a gift card um, or a um, uh, cash award. So uh, please know that that's the case. So we're getting down to the end. So the next award is the Air Force Award. And Grace Steele, you have been nominated uh, for the Air Force Award this year, uh, Outstanding Science or Engineering. She was physical science and her project had some very interesting initiatives and it went along with the um, Air Force initiatives. So the fuel of the future, algae biofuels met the US Air Force requirements. So congratulations. The next awards are the Navy Awards. And the Naval Awards are very special because in the Office of Naval Research, um, we have many um, students who have gone on through ISEF and have been recognized at their fairs, and they're now actually working at the um, Naval Science uh, Research area. You can get um, summer internships there. You can apply for them. Um, they are doing them virtually. And then also when you're in college, you can apply to be there absolutely phenomenal place. It's one of the times that I was able to take some students during my time tenure as a research instructor and it was really awesome. So our two winners are Eugene Kim and Bethany Duncan. Congratulations. Okay, so now ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna try something kind of cool um, and so we're going to have a drum roll and you know, with Gov school, we always have something that's kind of special and that Dr. Smith has been on our science fair team for many, many years. And he, um, did a little challenge. So we're going to do some zooming in a moment, but first, before we do that, I want to go back and revisit the idea about perseverance. So right now, perseverance is up, um, kind of hanging out on Mars, which is kind of cool if you think about it. But you may wonder where the name came from. Well, I'd like to just share that there were like 28,000 kids who sent an essay in their best ideas of how they should name this one. You know, the last one was curiosity. Well, what were they going to name the next one? There were 4,700 judges who helped narrow it down. And finally, they had a name. And the name last year, the student who did it was Alex Mather. And you could go online to the NASA Mars and see a little bit more about it. But here's what Alex talked about. And I quote, curiosity, insight, spirit, opportunity. If you think about it, all of these names of the past Mars rovers are qualities that we as humans possess. We are always curious. We always seek opportunity. 
we have the spirit in the insight to explore the moon, Mars, and beyond. But if rovers are to be the qualities of us as a race, we miss the most important thing, perseverance. We as humans evolved as creatures who could learn to adapt to any situation, no matter how harsh, and I'll add, even a pandemic. We are species of explorers. We will meet many setbacks on our way to Mars. However, we can persevere. We, not as a nation, but as humans, will not give up. The human race will always persevere into the future. So thank you, Perseverance, and we look forward to learning more and more research about everything on another place that we know nothing about. So with that, sit back and let's see what, who are going to be our grand winners. We have grand alternate first, the grand alternates, and we're gonna go back here. So we're gonna spotlight those people in a moment. The grand alternates we have in physical science and biological science. So if your name's called, you may be on a spotlight. So the grand alternate in physical sciences, receiving a $150 cash award is Jillian Nyland. And in biological sciences, VB Trost. Trost. Get a highlight. Is VB there? Congratulations. And now, Andrew, do you want to give any um, instructions? Um, we're going on to the grand winners now, you mean? Yes, we are. So we're waiting oh, oh, now. We, we, we would like, um, if you guys could go to the top right corner of your Zoom to go uh, click view and then gallery view, that may allow you guys to see these next few very beautiful people that are about to be spotlighted. So there's a drum roll, and we thought getting a little Broadway theme in here tonight that a spotlight would be perfect. So our grant award in physical science goes to Jade Persona. Congratulations. <laughs> and the grand biological award goes to Beverly Eborn. Let's give them a hand. Beverly, are you there? Awesome. And so now Andrew, give them um, an assignment, the spotlight people so we can get all four up. Do we have all four? Uh, we are currently working on it. Okay, <laughs> that's what I like. I'm, try I'm trying to scroll through, find VB. Perseverance, out. perseverance. Okay. And let's give a big hand for all four of our grands. So we have the grands, and that is a $500 college scholarship for the grand award winners. So you will get more information about how that works. And Andrew was one of the grands last year. And so he's going to be able to apply his $500 scholarship uh, towards school. So we're very excited. Thank you so much. And now we're going to go back. And uh, normally we have a speaker for our session, but you might figure out who that speaker might be tonight. 
So I'd like for you to sit back and let's uh, do a little perseverance right now. And I'm gonna beam it back to Andrew. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver in preparation for parachute deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration. Skyfin maneuver has started. About 20 meters off the surface. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance is safely on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Looks like we're getting the first image. This is the most amazing thing. This is what NASA does. This is what we can do as a country. So students, those of you who went through the research process this year, you definitely persevered. We're very proud of you. We wanna to continue to be beside you as you continue on your journey. Because as you can see, there are places to go and you can help us get there. And if you look at all the projects that are there, you will find out that there are little pieces of what these students were doing that could really get us to Mars again within our lifetime. So we are very excited for you. Um, you will be hearing more from the Science Fair team. And we look forward to hearing about your journey to States and also ICEF that'll be virtual. So it's time to sign off from Mission Control. The lights are going down on Broadway, but what kept us going and kept us persevering to come up with an experience for you that you can remember for a lifetime was knowing that mission control and we can launch. And I think we landed. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.